In this video, we will be discussing how to add extensions to your Airtable bases. So extensions are really useful pieces of functionality that you can um, plug and play into your Airtable base. They not only enhance the existing Airtable use cases, but they also introduce all new ways of building um, workflows with your extensions. So in order to add them, you will go up to this extensions pane on the top right. Um, please note that you, um, depending on what plan you're on, they will limit how many extensions you can use on your Airtable base. So um, if you're on a pro plan, you know, you have nothing to worry about. But if you're on one of the lower plans, there may be some limitations on that. So once you've opened up your extensions pane, you'll see on the top right that you can add an extension. So um, the extension menu is going to show you this marketplace of extensions, some of which are built by Airtable, some of which are built by third party teams that import their um, apps into the marketplace. Uh, sorry, the extensions into the marketplace. So as you can see, there is um, plenty of featured extensions. There's uh, many more aside from those. Um, there's prop an extension for thousands of different use cases. Uh, it's kind of up to you to figure out, you know, what kind of functionality is most useful to put into your Airtable base. You can do things like uh, generate random records, create summary um, value, uh, views, um, send emails, send text messages, um, preview URLs. So um, there's quite a few different things that you can do. And even beyond that, you can actually build your own custom extensions um, to do whatever you need them to do for your particular base. So I really love the extensions feature. Um, you can also do things like uh, run scripts. So if you are a programmer, you have some programming experience, you can run JavaScript uh, scripts within your Airtable base, which is super useful when you have um, a need for uh, functionality that doesn't exist in any of the apps that um, is more you know suitable for um, the logic that code gives you. So. That is the extension marketplace. I definitely would suggest you um, take some time to just look through these. Um, there's probably things in here that you wouldn't even imagine Airtable could do. Um, so it's really useful to just you know explore these and see what may be useful for your particular use case. Just a few things to note. You do need creator permissions to be able to add extensions to your base. However, once you add them, all of you, the users in your base will see the same uh, extensions. Additionally, you can add multiple copies of the same extensions. Um, you can duplicate extension blocks, um, and so on and so forth. So there's no real limit to what you can, um, how many you can add to your base as long as your plan allows it. So um, that is how to add extensions to your Airtable base. Stay tuned for the next video.